Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem next greater element 3. So given a positive integer and find the smallest integer which has exactly the same digits existing in the integer n and is greater in value than n. If no such positive integer exists, return minus 1. Note that the return integer should be in a 32-bit integer. If there is a valid answer but it is does not fit in 32-bit integer, then we have to return minus 1. So, this is very important note. This, there might be some test cases where the number n is a in valid integer. But if we uh, find out the next greater element, that will cross the integer max. So this will become a overflow. So we have to return minus 1 in that case. So let's understand the example. If we have 1, 2, we have to return 2, 1 as an next greater. And now if we have 2, 1, then after that there is no greater element because by forming these two digit, we can uh, max form two permutations like 1, 2 and 2, 1 and 1, 2 is smaller. So hence we have to return minus 1. So let's understand this problem with here like one of the knife solution. What you can do? You can generate all the permutation of this number. So for generating all the permutation, what we will do? We just start like all the numbers start from 1, 2 and 3, then 1, 2 and after that 1, 2, 1, 3. Here it's similarly 2, 1. 2, 3 and so on and then we will go further more down here this will become 1, 2, 3 and here this will uh, become 1, 2, 3 so this is not here and this will become 1, 3, 2 and this will become 2, 1, 3 and so on like we will get the all the number which form using this number in n as a uh, string treat n as a string and treat this all the digit as a characters and form all the permutation once you get all the permutation of this n then we will find just a number which is greater than the original number n just greater than original number n and which is minimum in this so all the list of permutation so if we go with this solution then if the length of our string like digit number of digit in our string is m so the time complexity of the solution will become O of n factorial. So you can try to code this pro problem as well. So this problem like there are many other problem in lit code like forming the all the permutation and all you can solve those problem with that approach. If you already solve that permutation problem you can easily solve this but it may give us time out because the n can go have 10 digit and 10 factorial will be very big. So now how we can solve further. So I took a bigger example to understand this in more. So let's first draw this number in a Cartesian plane mark these points like so 1 will be over here then 5 will be over here 8 will be over here and next we will have 4 and after that we have 7 somewhere here then 6 and then 5 and after that we have 3 and there is another one. So these are the all the numbers I just uh, pointed out randomly. So now what we need to do to find out the next greater number. So find out the next greater number in any number what we need to like if we have 2, 1, 3 then the next greater element we will look from the end whenever we find a dip. So this is the dip we will replace this number with the number right side just greater than this number where we have dip like 2, 1, 3, 1. So this is small example is easy now understand over here. So we start from here first find the place where we have like this number the if we compare this a of i is lesser than is lesser than a of i plus 1. We have to find the i where the a of i less than the a of i plus 1. So here i is start from here which is like length of our digit number of digit minus like len minus 1 so index basically and we start from here this is not then we will go more this is not then we will go further more this is not and here this is not once we come here this is the place where this condition met and this is the index this is the index i which was we were looking now once we found this number and the value of this in number index is 4 now what we need to do we need to find a number from this in so this whole sequence as you can see is an increasing sequence we need to find a number which is just greater than this number here in the right side so once we find so which is here which is like at index so we will find this index again in the same way starting from here now we will look for like all the a of j so this number 
is just greater so we will start another index a of j from the n minus 1 is until this we will run until this is less than we will use the while loop here and we will go here so we have to find the place where this is greater like a of j is greater than a of the initial i this index value the value of this so here in this case we have to find a number from the end which is greater than 4 so we will find over here and the number is 5 so once we find these two numbers, what we will do we will swap these two numbers in place like these two numbers here over here and here once we swap which means we found the correct number after 4 it will come 5 now once we got now we need to make these all r as a small s so we just as we find this is all increasing from the end we just reverse all the number and make it as a decreasing from the starting from this index i plus 1 so this is i plus 1 index so that is how we will solve this so for implementation what i did i just uh, created here two helper method which we are going to use here i will explain what the purpose so initially we need to uh, first convert these numbers as a digit array so let's represent as character and for converting it we will first convert form the number integer number into a string and then we will make it as a two char array using two char array method so once we got the character array we will find first i which is let's initialize from ch dot length minus 2 so we will co are comparing one character ahead so we will just uh, start this here and i until greater than or equal to 0 and here we will check if ch of i is greater than we run this until ch of i is greater than ch of i plus 1 so this is the reason starting i from length minus 2 as we are comparing ahead of one character in that case just i minus minus now one of the case when the all the number like we have number like this uh, 7 6 5 1 so in that case this number is totally decreasing now we can't find any greater number uh, of after forming of all these four digits so hence we have to return minus one so we will check in that case i will be our minus one over here in our this condition so we just check if i is minus one if i is minus one then just return minus one over here now we will look for another in place where index j is start from again ch dot length minus one and we will again look this this j is greater than until j is greater than i and uh, character at j is lesser than or equals to the character run this loop until this only and j minus minus so once we find the character which is just digit character digit which is just greater than this digit uh, at this place we will swap using the swap method so that's the reason i write down the swap method we will just swap character at i and j using this uh, very simple method now once we swap now we need to reverse all the number after in ch from the index start from i plus 1 that's it once we swap we will return now the case we find out the possible number but there is also a some test cases which is violate this condition we may get after swapping a valid number but which cross the integer maximum so what we will do in Instead of we will just try catch it <coughs> here like uh, in return the integer integer dot parse int so if that we find a number which is greater than the so first we will create a string from our character array and then parse it to the integer and return that if it is crossing the integer limit that means we will get a some exception so i am using a parent exception class you will tell me in comment what is the exact exception we will get in case of the number cross the like the solution cross the integer max max value so tell me what is the exact exception for now i am just using a parent class of every exception which is exception if we get exception then we will return minus 1 over here so this is the simplest implementation of this like we solve this step by steps now let's compile this code first and see if it is compilable yeah code has some integer parse in so there is a typo in parse so this will be a parse int not parent 
so let's recompile it and it is compiling let's try some other corner test say like 2 1 1 2 3 3 2 1 and let's use single digit as well and the big number like 199999 nine, 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 nine. so there are like 3 36 and 3 so this number is valid integer less than integer max but if we try to do form the next greater which will cross the integer maximum so here we are getting minus 1 correctly and all the our custom test case is getting passed now we can submit this code so it is got accepted now what is the time complexity of this solution so the in worst case here we can process all the characters or here we can process all the characters or multiple lines so this is o of n plus o of n plus again parse reversing this all character o of n so in worst case the overall time complexity of our solution is o of n and the space complexity is also o of n as we are converting this all the digits so if n basically let's treat it m and where m is a length of the string formed by the n so that's it if you like this solution hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos thanks for watching